First of all, I want to officially welcome everyone. I know we have some uh, people from uh, out of town that are here today, especially from, from Louisville. I recognize some faces almost immediately when they came in today. Uh, John, thank you for putting this together. This means a lot to our community. And Dave Bell, our uh, Jefferson County EMA director. Where are you, Dave? Right. Thanks. Um, and I know there are friends and relatives of those that, uh, of the names that were read uh, recently. But uh, about a half hour ago when I walked into the room here, of course, it was this was scheduled to be at the courthouse. And uh, uh, so we were happy to open up uh, City Hall. But I saw Reed Yaden walk in, uh, walk in earlier. And uh, of course, I had to kid him about it. I, I listened to him on WAKY years ago. Uh, and we talked a little bit about that. But uh, John Belsky, and I think Brian Good was here. I see did I see Janelle walk in? Uh, I'll have to tell you guys, I, this winter, I've never looked at so many weather blogs in my life. <laughs> so, so be careful what you say about Madison on there. Put, put in a good plug for us, but, but we appreciate all of you being here today. I have a little bit different story. I was a junior at the University of Kentucky uh, in 1974, and my wife and I uh, were, were married at the time, and... Uh, I was leaving campus and picking her up on uh, South Limestone Street, I believe it was. She worked at uh, a Federal Savings and Loan. And we always listened to WHAS radio because we'd been used to, to listening to WHAS uh, here in Madison, and we had it on 84 WHAS. And, and uh, I can remember the day, I don't know how many of you remember it, but this it was so humid and, and hot that day. It was just like something was waiting to happen. But Dick Gilbert was in his... Uh, helicopter and uh, it was just we were hearing a blow by blow about what was going on in Louisville uh, I can remember him saying oh Lord, there goes the horse barn at Freedom Hall or on the fairgrounds and, and of course we're we're on our way to our apartment and we couldn't believe what we were hearing and then a little bit later we just we heard on the radio that they called in the National Guard in Madison and we're going oh my gosh because both of our parents still uh, lived in Madison and had brothers and sisters here in Madison. So, but most of you know that you couldn't get through on the phones. Uh, so, and there were still storms coming through, so we couldn't really just pick up and, and leave at that time. Uh, so the next morning we decided to, uh, to head back to Madison, not really knowing what all the damage was, other than it was, you know, it was severe, uh, listening to the radio all this time. But we remember all the way back, Jenny and I were just talking about it a while ago, uh, you could see where that storm kind of splintered off. I remember when we were coming by Frankfurt, and you could just shave some of the trees off there. And uh, we came into Campbellsburg, Kentucky, and they weren't letting people through, but when we told them we lived in Madison, they let us come through. Uh, coming into downtown Madison off the bridge, you didn't really see, see anything down here. Uh, but when we went up on the hilltop where my parents lived and we, we drove through the what has already been described as a war zone, it just looked like someone had dropped a bomb. So it was, uh, we spent the weekend here and it was kind of a, I think a lot of people felt helpless because uh, the ones that weren't uh, directly affected, uh, you, you kind of didn't know what to do. Uh, but before the weekend was out, I, I was telling Reed earlier that I remember Jenny's mom and dad on Sunday, we had to, I had to go back to school. They put a couple of chainsaws in their back of their truck and they headed out. They were just going to try to help out anybody they could. And I think that was our whole community at that time. Um, but uh, Reed asked me about uh, people remembering it. If anyone's been in Madison very long, you can go down the street and ask them and they'll, they can tell you where they were and, and what happened. But the great thing about it is, guys, we we recover because people come together. And that's what happened uh, during that time. So I appreciate you listening to what I have to say. <laughs>